What specific sites should you sample when you are looking for listeria? First, we need to understand this pathogen, so let's go over some general facts about listeria monocytogenes and listeria species. There are three facts to remember about listeria. Listeria monocytogenes is ubiquitous in nature, often found in soil. These bacteria can survive in a wide range of environments, including freezing temperatures and low pH. Listeria monocytogenes grows well in cold and wet environments. Now, let's take a look at listeria in food facilities. The ability of listeria monocytogenes to grow in a variety of conditions makes them a problem for food facilities. It can become established in food facilities in processing and packaging equipment, facility structures, drains, floors, walls, and cooling units, among others. It can live in hard-to-clean areas, making it harder to eliminate with routine cleaning and sanitizing procedures. It can survive in facilities and equipment for many years, particularly in growth niches. Sampling should be done specifically in cold and wet places. Dirty places don't necessarily have listeria, as other bacteria may outcompete it. So, where should you sample? Some ideal places to swap for listeria include cold rooms. Here, you should look for condensation on the ceiling, cooling unit drip pans that do not get cleaned regularly, hollow legs of shelves, drains, and door seals. We recommend you take at least two to three samples in a cold room or fridge during a listeria investigation. If you go sampling for listeria and don't go into the cold room or freezer, you didn't sample correctly. Drains. Always sample drains because they are an easy way to capture the worst case scenario of the whole room as water that has touched equipment and floors flows into drains. If listeria are present in a room, it's likely that it will end up in the drain. Look at collection pans deep in the drains that usually don't get cleaned. Floor mats. Floor mats can be difficult to effectively clean. Listeria can be protected from sanitizer and micro cracks in these mats and can be squeezed out by pressure when people stand on them. Squeegees and other cleaning equipment. Take a look at the squeegees pictured here. Poorly designed squeegees can harbor bacteria in the handle or in the squeegee itself because bacteria can hide in hard to clean places. Use common sense to identify other places where listeria might survive based on knowledge previously outlined in this video. Now, let's cover some examples specific to delicatessens. Delis are often at high risk for Listeria monocytogenes contamination. Why? There are three main factors. Deli slicers often contain hard-to-clean areas, specifically if they aren't taken apart properly, that allow Listeria monocytogenes to persist. Listeria monocytogenes can survive at refrigeration temperature. Ready-to-eat foods, like deli meats and cheeses, aren't cooked and are stored for long periods under refrigeration temperatures, presenting a high risk for growth of Listeria monocytogenes. Where should you sample in a deli? Here are some suggestions. Deli display case. Take a close look at deli display cases because they are rarely disassembled completely. You may need to disassemble these to sample them. Ask facility personnel to help you. Ideally, ask for disassembly down to the coils and sample while the deli case is being disassembled. Check out cooling fans and drains in the deli case too. Floor wall juncture under deli case. Deli slicer. During cleaning and sanitation procedures, this piece of equipment might be partially disassembled at best, leaving room for residue to accumulate in deeper parts of the equipment that are never reached by cleaners or sanitizers if not taken apart properly. Deli sink interior and exterior. Drain and deli area. Cold storage room. Spend some time in these cold rooms. These are essential to sample when looking for listeria. Also focus on difficult to clean areas and areas with standing water. Besides our suggestions, when selecting sampling for listeria, remember that it is ubiquitous in nature, often found in soil. These bacteria can survive in a wide range of environments, including freezing temperatures and low pH. 
It grows well in cold and wet environments. And use your best judgment based on knowledge outlined in this and previous videos to find areas where Listeria can survive over time. You are now prepared to select appropriate sampling sites during Listeria investigations.